April 15, 1912, more than 1,500 people died aboard the Titanic. May 7, 1915, more than 1,198 people died aboard the Lusitania after it was struck by a torpedo from a German submarine. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, over 1,177 soldiers were killed on the USS Arizona when it was sunk by a Japanese submarine. But on January 30, 1945, what if I told you a sea disaster caused more deaths than all of these three combined? Times three. It's January 30th, 1945, and a 10-year-old boy named Hoist Lloyd is escaping the war. Germany is losing the war, and the Russians are coming for revenge. Everyone east of East Prussia is evacuated. Their only hope is to get on board the Wilhelm Gushloff, a ship that would take them to a safer haven in the city of Kiev. The boy brought along a Swiss Army pocket knife just in case along with his mother. Little did they know, just hours later, they would be involved in the largest loss of life in a single ship disaster in human history. The weather is brutally cold. Hoist and his mother have to go to sleep just wearing life jackets, knowing that the Russians could attack at any time. While sailing in the Baltic Sea, slowly creeping up behind them was a Soviet submarine. Sometime during the voyage, they were hit. A deafening sound was heard, and water rushed in. Hoist Lloyd would later recount what happened. My mom woke me up, and then the next thing I know, within seconds, uh, another bang, and then another bang. We ran out of the cabin, and I managed to climb up the stairs. And my mom almost made it to the top and fell all the way down. When screaming my head off, mom, 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 you know. And eventually mom was able to grab the railing and pull herself up. Through the chaos, Hoist and his mother made their way up to where the lifeboats were. The only problem was there weren't enough. There were 22 lifeboats, 11 on each side. But because when the torpedoes hit, the ship took a 15 degrees tip to the uh, port side right away. So no lifeboat got loose on the starboard side, okay? And on the port side, about six or seven got loose. The rest were frozen. So in general, all they got is maybe seven lifeboats. And you can put about 70 people into a lifeboat. In the frigid cold weather, Hoist and his mother were one of the few lucky ones to get in. However, during the panic, several people had to be struck in the head with oars to keep them out. You know, just gruesome. Those are the things you... They're, they're in your head, you, you can't get rid of it. It's impossible. As if it couldn't get any worse for the survivors, the ship was sinking. And in the frigid cold waters, the ropes were frozen and still fastened to the ship. As the ship was sinking beneath the waves, people were frantically trying to find someone with a knife. When Hoyt remembered he had his pocket knife, on that day he saved himself, his mom, and 70 other people. As the ship broke free and sank beneath the waves, the child and others watched in horror. Estimates believe it was between 7,000 and 9,000 people died. By comparison, the Titanic had 1,500 deaths, making this the worst maritime disaster in history. It is rumored that after 7,000 passengers, the ship's crew stopped counting, where an additional 2,000 to 2,500 more men, women, and children boarded the doomed vessel. One of the main reasons why the people were on the ship in the first place was to escape the atrocities of the war Hitler and his regime were losing. Just after noon, the Gustloff left the Gidnia Harbor where it had been sitting for a few hours. On that day, around 6 p.m., the captain received a distress message stating that a minesweeper convoy was heading his way. As the captain ordered the lights turned on, this was the most deadly mistake that they could have made. They were now sitting ducks and didn't even know it. 
Around 9.16 p.m., three torpedoes struck the ship, each one having more devastating effect than the previous one. As the ship was hit, it began to list, causing widespread panic amongst the passengers and crew. They all soon were horrified again to find out that they didn't have enough lifeboats. There were only enough to cover for 5,000 people when there were easily over 9,000 aboard. The ship was beginning to sink even further, and to add insult to injury, one of the torpedoes had struck the crew cabin. As panic ensued on the vessel, the lights went out due to damage from one of the torpedoes striking the engine. Now, the daunting task was trying to find your way out in the dark. With all of the mayhem going on, it is truly remarkable that a 10-year-old boy not only saved himself, his mother, and 70 other people. In closing, the Wilhelm Gusloff was a full motor vessel German ocean liner that was sunk by a Soviet submarine on January 30th, 1945. An estimated 9,000 passengers were killed in the sinking, making it the greatest maritime disaster in history. Please like, share, and subscribe to Where in the World is Frank and Gina, and rest in peace to all of the victims. God bless.